Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Some people prefer to use the default authentication system that Laravel provides, and that of course is fine. But to make changes to that system, you have to do some modifications first. If you decide that the default authentication system is very basic, then you might consider to move to Sentinel. I have tutorials on that if you are interested. Anyway, we started doing the modifications in the previous video, and I will continue in this one. The last thing that we came up in the previous video is regarding this error. So let me show you. Ok, so let's analyze this. We see that Laravel executes this SQL query. Of course, this is done in the background. This query will create a new user with the attributes name, email, password, updated at, and created at. The problem is that in the migration for the users table, so if I open the migration, we added a field for the username and another one for the date of birth. So we have already started modifying the default authentication to our likes. Something that a lot of people want to do, but they always have some problems. Anyway, so because we added these two new fields, when we insert a user, MySQL expects to also get a value for the username and for the date of birth. This is what this error says. Username has no default value, which means that it cannot be null, because username here is not nullable or it has no default value. By the way, if you wanted to make this nullable, then you can say nullable here, and then you will not see this error. Or if you want to give this a default value, you can say default, and you can give this a default value. But we have this as string, username, 32 characters, nothing else. So we have to solve this problem. First of all, if you go to the registration form, you will see that we do not have an input for the username. So let's add a new field for the username. Go to resources, views, auth, and then open register view. This file here is responsible for whatever you see in this form. So let's copy the code for the name. So this is the form group for the name. I will copy this and I will paste it. And I will change name to username. So username for username. This is username. The ID here username again. The type is text. The name is username value the old value is username so maybe you do not know what these errors has here is or what this old is but we will learn about that later so don't worry about it just change whatever you have as a name here okay so let's go back and give this another try reload and then fill again the fields Ok, so what is going on here? We still have the same error, but why? Well, let me tell you something, we still have some work to do, but I promise you that we will get there, so don't worry. Now go to HTTP, controllers, auth, and open register controller. Scroll down at the end of the file and you will see this create function. So I guess now you understand why we still have this error here. Right? It is because username it is not included in this array. So let's include it. Username and then data username. So data here has whatever we pass through this form. In this form we pass the username so this data here can have access to the username that we pass. Ok, so let's save this. Let's go back and try this again. Ok, so hold on. Don't be mad, ok? We still have one last change, I promise. One last change. So the error is still the same. So, to finally fix this problem, open the user model. And I promise this is the last step that we have to take. 
And by the way, after this last change, I will sum up all the steps that you need to take to add another field in your authentication. Anyway, take a look at this fillable array here. Laravel wants your application to be secured. Because of this, Laravel will allow only the fields that are included here in this array to be used with create and update. In our case, we try to create a user and we try to pass a username. So in order to do that, let's include username here as well. I will see here, username, save, and let's see. Okay, so this works. As you can see here now, we do not get username anymore, but we get date of birth, DOB. So of course, you know why, because in the migration, as you can see here, we added username and date of birth. So let's sum up the steps that we need to take to finally register the user without errors. Step one, input field for DOB in the register view. So in our case now we work with DOB because this is a problem, the date of birth. So step one is to include the field for DOB, which will be a date field. Step two is to go to the register controller and include here the DOB again. And the last step, step three, is to go to this fillable array and also add DOB here as well. So let's start with step one. I will copy this form group and I will paste it. So let's change username to DOB. DOB, 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 the same here. I know that you're bored, but stay with me. Okay, so for the type here, we will use the date type, not the text. So change text to date. All right, so save this and go back. Reload. And here now you have your calendar. So let's give this a final try. Name is Renato, username Renato. This is the date of birth. And by the way, I forgot to change the text here, the label. So let me do this now. So this is date of birth. Let's reload again one last time. Renato, Renato. We can use this calendar here. The email and the password. So if I click register, hopefully we have no errors. Oh, okay. So I said the steps, but I never actually did them. <laughs> okay, so step one was to include the field for the date. Step two was to include DOB here. Okay, DOB. And the last step is to include DOB inside fillable. Okay, sorry for that, my mistake. Let's go back, reload again, continue. And yeah, now we are registered. Let's also double check if I go here to the user's table. Here it is.